Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my channel members for their ongoing support. If you would like your name to appear on screen, then you can click on the membership link that will be in the description down below. I have two tiers, one for shout outs and a second tier where you will get weekly members only content. This content will be catch up live streams, members only reactions, or sometimes I will do a pre recorded chatty get ready with me video where I update you on life stuffs. There is also, of course, the custom emojis and the cute animal badges next to your name. Of course, you just watching this video is already much appreciated, but if you wish to support the channel further, you can do so by subscribing, commenting, liking, sending super thanks, and of course, joining the membership. And now let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ilona and I'm also known as Shikara Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. If you're curious to see what my journey to the stage is like, then check that out. I am currently four weeks out from my show in Portugal. And uh, yeah, I'm hungry. I'll actually the hunger isn't that bad it's the fatigue and the mental fog that's getting very hard um but besides that point if you're curious to see about that check it out i've vlogged twice a week full day of eating and like a weekly vlog additionally if you ever want to purchase an eight, eight week training plan you can just email me down the email that is in the description and uh, for one-to-one -one coaching i'll probably pick that back up again or i'll add more clients is what i should say once i'm back from my complete competition basically um so Talking of health and fitness journeys, uh, not that mine is super healthy right now, but um, we're gonna look at two foodie beauty videos because apparently she's on a weight loss journey once again. Uh, it looks like that eating mukbangs is making her gain weight. Who would have thought, especially when you eat for like four people. I'm pretty sure she was on one of her sock accounts in my comment section yesterday. I normally don't even notice it because I get so many comments and I don't even, I don't usually check it, but like, you know, when, when you go in the back end of your studio, you can see, like, the last three comments. And somebody left a comment on my Glitters and Lasers video about Chantal. And I was like, that's weird. So we went into it. And it, I think it was Chantal. So she clearly wants my attention. So here we go. I'm giving you some attention. So, uh, but yeah, obviously, it's the usual. I'm, I'm jealous of her man. Even though I, I literally have a whole ass Syrian man myself. But yeah, I'm, je I'm jealous of, Ch of Chantal, of course. Here is the attention that was ordered, and I'm gonna get two videos. So we've got a gained weight video, and she did a healthy mukbang. Now I, for one, despite Chantal being Chantal, um, I'm in a way still happy to see that she's doing at least a grilled chicken mukbang. The gaining weight thing, I don't know when she's going on holiday, I don't know where she thinks she's gonna to travel to, I don't know what timelines they're on, but if she thinks she's gonna like die it down an awful lot in like a few weeks or even like a couple of months, you need a bit more time than that. It's taken her literally decades to get super morbidly obese. Um, so it's gonna take a long time to lose. I mean, she could probably lose like 30 or 40 pounds in a month or two if she was applied herself, but to get to a point where she's even considered somewhat healthy in terms of BMI, it's gonna take a long time and it's gonna be a lot of hard work and she's gonna be hungry. And one thing Chantal doesn't like is to be hungry. Discomfort and doing things she doesn't wanna do. So we'll see. But you know, day one, reset journey. We'll have a look. She gained weight, allegedly, apparently. Nobody's surprised, nobody's surprised. Hey guys, welcome back to my first vlog on this health journey. Um, in my previous mukbang, where I was eating quite unhealthily. Sorry, I'm kind of out of breath. I've been running around in the kitchen and organized. So she basically walked from the kitchen to where she is, and now she's out of breath. And all this food. So I'm making this intro after the day's events, actually. So you will see in this video how I spent my day, just doing um, a lot of health food shopping and a weigh-in. Um, I wonder where she's gonna weigh in and I wonder what scale she uses because I'm pretty sure she's at a point of maxing out her scales. Things of that nature. Um, at first I'm gonna struggle with these videos and with the everything because it's a lot more activity than I'm used to. Honestly, I'm used to just ordering food and plopping myself in front of the camera, um, actually. And like, how sad is that? So I get accused of being jealous of her life when literally 
her life has been just sitting and eating all day long. Like, granted, I eat a lot too. But I, I, I can't imagine that my life is literally waiting for a takeout to come to my door so I can eat myself into a coma. And then go to sleep until it's time to wake up to eat again. What an existence. Watch some TV in the meantime. I just... I do a lot more TV watching now than I have done in recent months, for years even, for the simple reason that I'm getting to a point where I'm so low body fat, which is unhealthy as well, by the way, but I'm so low body fat, I have so little energy that I just I just literally have to rest because I just, I'm just tired and I, I sleep bad and it's a thing, right? Purpose unhealthy, but besides that point, I don't do it because I have nothing else to do. I do it because like I physically can't, but I guess that's her situation as well, but... I just, I just can't imagine not getting up and doing things with my day. Even for me, my my quiet days are busy. That's not to flex on her, because I think my days are just like most people's days. Most people that are normal, healthy people, they go, they get up, they go to work, they go to the food shop, they do some cleaning in the house, they do this, they do that. That's that's normal. That's what most normal people do. To sit around doing nothing, wait for food to come, to then do more of nothing. Is not a way to live your life. And like, look, I will always. Good morning. Hi. And did you come say hello? Somebody, the queen, announced herself. Um, I could. I, I lost my train of thought then. Like, I will. I always want her to be healthy. Like, she is not the nicest of people. Um, I will. I don't like what she's done with the animals. I don't like the fact that she's got another animal. She is not. Uh, she doesn't know how to care for animals properly. But um, besides that point, you know, maybe she would become a better person if she was healthier. Maybe if she found some self-respect, maybe if she found some dignity, maybe if she found um, uh, a way to take care of herself and truly love herself, maybe it would make her somewhat of a better person. Because with all the shit that she sticks in her body and the way she treats herself, like, I'm not surprised she's a vile person. Of course you are. You treat yourself like shit, so why wouldn't, like, why would it not ooze out in other aspects of your life, you know? So, I mean, like, the animal stuff is a different thing altogether, but the point being is, it's like, I, I believe redemption to some degree is possible if maybe she was feeling better about herself. In my opinion. Really making efforts is exhausting for me at first, um, as I try to regain health and my energy levels, so. Regain health? She's never had health. You literally don't know what it is to be in a normal body. She's always been obese. Um, also, you know, you don't have those dopamine hits from the unhealthy food anymore. So you're you're kind of feeling a little blue. But um, with my faith in God and prayer and just continually saying no to myself when I want to cave, I think, you know, I just have to get ahead a bit and uh, then, I'll be, then I'll be in a better place. So... Um, She's trying really hard to convince herself, but it's not working. I've been on this journey type of thing many many times and each time i appreciate you having new faith in me and, and coming along for the ride um even if you're critical you know i don't blame you i have a lot of trouble sticking to things and this is where i would like to really develop my character more and be more disciplined have more self-discipline um learning the art of um delaying gratification literally all this is and I, I i can't say this as somebody that's literally been dieting for like 18 weeks i i gave myself one cheat meal a couple of weeks ago in 18 weeks i gave myself one cheat meal because i was just so fucking exhausted and i i felt and it wasn't even like i wanted it but i felt like i needed it like i get so in tune with my body i know when my body needs certain foods i did have uh, also a couple of months halfway through my journey i had a day where i did i just ate really high fat and high protein i mean i eat high protein anyway but i ate really high fat i just felt like my body needed like fat like i just recognize when my body needs certain nutrients right besides that point it is just a case discipline and willpower is something that anybody can have i'm not special for what, what i'm doing anybody can do what i do like it's not it's really not a, a special thing it's just a case of being really consistent and the more you do it the more you say no the more you develop you develop that so you, you can't just give up. But the problem is with Chantal, she literally has the slightest inkling or the slightest feeling of I want this or urge or whatever it may be and she gives up straight away. She doesn't even bother sitting it out for more than like a minute or two. 
But yeah, that's basically all you have to do. It's just suck it up and sit it out. Um, you know, meaning this trip is, uh, you know, months away, but um, like a few months away. But if I can do the hard work now, she could lose if she really wanted to. She could probably lose between forty and sixty pounds in a few months if she really tried. Um, the payoff will be amazing when, I, when it comes time to traveling, and not just that, but just for my health and everything else. So um, this is about weight loss. I think she's really grossly underestimating what's going to happen. Even if she said, say, she lost like between 30, say between thirty and sixty pounds in a couple of months, she's still fucking enormous. She's still going to travel somewhere. Traveling in a bigger body is harder, regardless of how you pick and choose it. Even if you pay pay for extra seats, the world in general is not accommodating to people of her size. So yes, it will be easier on her. Yes, there will be less health risk. Yes, it will be better for her health. Traveling at her size, even if she lost, I mean, even if she lost a hundred pounds, it's still going to be challenging. Getting around in a different foreign country, any foreign country really, is still going to be incredibly hard, even if she lost a hundred pounds. So I don't know what, what she thinks that she's going to lose, do here by losing a couple of pounds and that suddenly the travel is going to be like, I don't know, she's going to just be like hiking Mount Everest. <laughs> it, it doesn't work like that because she's still big, really, really, really big loss as well which is tied into health but it's also about other things i'd like to cure health wise um some hormonal imbalance and things like that correcting with more natural food so i'm just planning on eating a lot of um less fat less bad fat um because i don't have a gallbladder so that's very unhealthy especially on my liver you know my liver has to work overtime um to make up for the uh, emulsifying of fats that the gallbladder would do um so eating a very high fat diet is just not ideal for me it makes me feel sluggish it makes me feel bad um so you know, it's going to be a lot of healthy fruits and vegetables and uh, lean proteins and things like that. <clears throat> so. Processed carbs are an issue for her as well, big time. Rice she can eat, just portion it out. Yeah, sounds exciting, huh? But health, you know, getting healthy should be exciting. It's a whole new life I've never experienced and um, I don't think I can do it. So I have to prove to myself I can. All right, guys. So let's get to, let's get to, let's get this vlog uh, going. Um, all right. So thanks for watching. One hundred and sixty-six kilos, which is so we did a kg to LBS. Three hundred and sixty-five pounds. I don't believe that's right. Uh, it says it's a maximum weight of one hundred and eighty kilos on the scale. She looks a little bigger than 166. We've seen her visibly gain weight. We've seen her, we've seen people have done the comparisons before when she was actually around 365 pounds. So my guess is she's torn, te she te torn, teared, one of the two. She did something to the scale. So as you can see, I gained weight, um, like about what, two, at least two or three kilos. Yeah. Uh. <gasps> So you're telling me that eating literally every single day for four people for, for two months straight now made you gain only two or three kilos. That's a fluctuation at your size. Two or three kilos at Chantal's size is a fluctuation. I fluctuate two kilos a day sometimes depending on my sodium. This, my sodium, my water, my rest, my stress, my digestion, whether I go to the toilet or not, etc. So for her to be like, I gained, two, I gained weight, two kilos, no. <laughs> That's a fluctuation at best. So no, this is, this already is bullshit. No, 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 I don't believe this. Yeah, over two kilos at least. And um, I've been eating a lot, a lot of food, a lot of junk. Yeah, this is why two kilos is impossible. <laughs> you would have gained a lot more than that. A lot of processed food, a lot of sugary drinks, juices, sodas. Very little activity. Um, you know, I've been avoiding the gym. So that would be why I gained weight. And uh, no, I'm not happy about that. I do feel it. Look at the duper's delight here. As though on your fucking body, you're going to notice two kilos. <laughs> She's not gonna notice two kilos. Come on now. Um, I feel very heavy, just no energy, you know. So uh, I think that's just her permanent state of existing, though. It's gonna be hard 
shedding this extra weight at first, especially with the energy levels I have. So I'm hoping eating the healthy food will help with that. Um, and uh, yeah, so hopefully, inshallah, this will this weight will come off. I'm gonna do everything I can to uh, to get it off. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see until you actually get hungry for the first time, experience hunger. You know, I know it's a sensation you know, you're used to, but we'll see. And get my health back. <sighs> Hi guys! So, uh, today I thought I would do a more vlog style video, just kind of a day in my life. Um, more of like a wellness type of vlog, I guess. Uh, so, I am going to try and take care of my health today. So, uh, I'm gonna go to the gym, and then uh, right now we're actually going to um, a fruit and vegetable market. We're out of fresh produce, so there's a pretty big impressive fruit and vegetable market um, here in Kuwait. That this is very typical of Chantal whenever she starts a health cycle, is that she just over purchases like all the health foods in excess. Um, I'll be curious to see what she's going to purchase. My recommendation is, especially in countries I would imagine like uh, Kuwait, it's the same over here. Fresh produce doesn't last. I cannot go to the supermarket and buy uh, enough food for me to last a whole week. Like, I need to go food shopping several times a week because the food perishes, basically. Especially fruits and vegetables, it doesn't, it lasts a few days, usually speaking. So, I'm curious to see how much she is going to purchase because a lot of it probably will just go to waste. We're gonna go check out, so we'll take you guys along and then I'm gonna hit the gym up. The health are incoming. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yalla, let's go. Let's go. One of the hardest temptations for me to avoid when going out in public places are all of the food stands. You can smell the delicious fried food and it really sucks saying no, but I did. I wonder if this is Chantal filming or Salah. This place is huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's basically like a wholesale fruits and vegetables place, but I wanted to check it out because we need some produce and it's a lot of things. <laughs> we are getting some herbs. Sure, yeah. What nana? What other? Nana is mint and dill and coriander and parsley. That's a lot of, like, look, that's a lot of fresh herbs. I like fresh herbs also, um, but there's no way I, I could work my way through all of those fresh herbs within a few days. That This will go off. If you don't cook this within a day or two, all of that's going to perish. There's no way that she's cooking. This is meant for restaurants or people that cook for, like, large families. Do you know what I mean? This is, this is all going to perish. It's like individual stands, people selling things. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's all herbs. No. There's gotta be like salad in there as well. Still, for two people, for a couple of days, this is super fresh, guys. Like, this is not, a lot of this stuff hasn't been like, uh, they don't they don't treat it. They, it's like fairly organically, naturally grown, right? This stuff doesn't last. What, is, what are they gonna do with five, five plastic bags full of, herb? they're not gonna work through that. It's never gonna happen. This is what I've been craving, watermelon. Oh my gosh. So this place is like maybe two Costco's or so of just fresh um, produce. It's a fresh produce market, very huge with individual vendors uh, all there to sell their individual things. Now we came very late, uh, pretty much close to closing. So every a lot of vendors were closed, as you can see here. Usually this would be open and people- Well, you know, we, we know it only takes her out. When there's not many people around. I wonder why that is, Chantal. You know. Could maybe be that he doesn't want to be seen with you. Uh, the sheets wouldn't be on them and uh, people would be selling their things here. Uh, so yeah, um, instead of carts, you have these individual people um, coming with like a, a trolley and they follow you around and put your things on the trolley for you. And um... I think this is meant literally for, I think this is supposed to be like a whole foods place for restaurants and stuff like that or people that buy in bulk. I don't think you're meant to go here to just do like your, your weekly food shop or even for a few days. I could be wrong, but I think things are meant to be sold in crates and stuff. Like who's going to sit there and eat like five, like six mangoes unless you're like a, a fruitarian or something like that. But most people don't eat that many mangoes in a week. <laughs> follow you around the store, put the things on, and then at the end you um, give them a nice tip and uh, they also help you pack the car as well. So these are all um, individual apricots and peaches and plums and uh, pretty much every fruit you can imagine. Uh, so yeah, I love apricots. And here's Salah just um, looking to buy some seedless grapes, so they're one of his favorite fruits. 
Uh, me personally, I prefer the cherries. Is that all the fruit that they're buying? Is that theirs? She's got, so what, she's got six fucking melons there? She's got six melons, a whole crate of figs. She's gonna be shitting her fucking pants with those figs. Mangoes. Look, nothing against fruit. But first of all, she's diabetic. Second of all, that's that's a lot of fruit for two people. This is all gonna go to waste. This is all gonna go to waste. Or well, go to his family, I guess, maybe. I don't know, but... Me personally, I prefer the cherries here. So this is what we have so far. Some nice figs, Syrian figs, a bunch of cantaloupes. I love cantaloupe. And wow, I just am always amazed by the beautiful color of fruits and vegetables. They're so appealing to the eye. And I just love the different colors here. Uh, wow, a yellow melon. <laughs> These are zucchinis. You see a lot of those because one of the, the popular dishes here is mashi. And that's stuffed vegetables. And mashi kusa is stuffed uh, zucchini. That's why you see a lot of them. And I also need some green onions, so we're going to get some of these giant ones here. We're getting falafel, which means three. Three of them, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sweaty walking around here, but I'm forcing myself to... Yeah, it's exercise, isn't it? Do it. I'm in the gym. This is too much food for two people. This is all got, like, more than hot, more... Why? They have literally like a, like a 7 kilo watermelon there or a 10 kilo watermelon. I can put away some watermelon, but this is, this is unnecessary. They're not going to eat all of this. This is all going to go to waste. Like, look, I commend, I commend them for trying to eat healthier. Absolutely. But this is all going to go to waste. And that's sad. It's sad to see food get perished. All right, we're done here. I'm going to the gym. All right, so here I am at the gym in the change room. I'm feeling tired, not up to working out, but I push myself to at least do a good 45 minutes. I start with the arm exercise machines. Those ones are usually pretty empty, so I start doing that. And obviously they the least amount of work as well, so of course she's gonna go for that. That makes sense. Just some pull downs and some uh, bicep curls here. I'm very limited, as you know, as to what I can show you in the gym. So, and I also can't really show myself when I don't have my hijab on, which is while I'm at the gym. So I'm just uh, doing some bicep curls and now some uh, walking on the treadmill. I do about 15 minutes of intervals. What happened? What happened to the 20? Speeds. Not too high yet. But Interval speeds. 2.4 kilometers an hour. Is that, is that her fast speed? 2.4? That's crazy that her walking speed is 2.4 kilometers an hour. That is so slow. That's literally one of the, that's almost the slowest the, the treadmill can go. Look, it's better than not walking at all, so fair play. It's better than not walking at all, but 2.4 kilometers an hour is nothing. Like an average walking pace is like four, like almost double. That's an average walking pace. Yeah, the prep for Mount Everest is going really well if your walking pace is 2.4 kilometers an hour. But I start, uh, you know, I do 2.4 and I alternate. Uh, you can see that was the beginning of It's the slowest the treadmill will go. The 2.4 is her top speed. That's lunacy. Like literally, that's lunacy. I like. I don't even see how anybody can. Wow. Of my time, 15 minutes. Now I do the majority of my time at 1.6. She does the majority of her time at 1.6. Do you realize how slow that is? Like I cannot express to you how slow that is. That the treadmill will not go any slower than that. I'm pretty sure this is the slowest speed that is available on the treadmill. 1.6. It's like, that's, I, I have no words. How can that be your average speed for walking so slow? That's crazy. She's not burning any calories doing this. I'll, I'll tell you that already. If you walk at 1.6 kilometers an hour, well, like, granted she's big, so she will burn some calories. But you're looking at maybe burning like, I don't know, like 15 calories in 15 minutes, if even that, if even that. Um, I get lower back pain when I walk too much, so even 15 minutes was a pretty big push for me. But I do 1.6 and then I usually up the speed to uh, no more than 2.4 uh, for a few minutes at a time. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I do for a workout. Okay, so we'll post gym. We're going to have a fish dinner. It's Look at all that bread. All that rice, all that bread. 
Fish, no problem with it. If she was to have just a fish with a salad and either the rice or the bread, one bread, a quarter of that rice and those sides, fine. But and full, full sugar cokes. It's quite late, uh, so we're gonna have this. I need to organize the kitchen a lot. So we ordered grilled fish and that's eggplant, bread, rice. Look at that rice. That's more rice than I eat in an entire day. I mean, like my carbs are getting low now though, but besides that point, that is literally pff, around six to 800 grams of rice. That's too much rice for one person and, and bread. It's too much. What, for the 15 calories she've just burnt? Literally, she will have three bites of that rice and she will have the calories she burned in the gym, she will have eaten them back on again. Rice, uh, mabouche, tahina, dakus, rice for both of us. I'm not gonna have the Pepsi. I'm gonna give it to Salah. I'm gonna have this no, bottle of water. Me either, yeah, sure, Jen. <laughs> all right, let's eat. Yalla, bismillah. Bismillah, rahman rahim. All right, I now have to organize all of this fr fruit and veg. I did have a fig and an apricot before the gym <laughs> and these are very delicious Syrian figs. Yalla. Yummy. How can you still be hungry after all of that food? Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for coming along. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Okay, so I'm going to make a coffee and we'll be back with the next video. Alright, so let's get into the second video here. The grilled chicken mukbang that she's doing. Uh, the skinny legend mukbang. So she's got a giant salad there. Presumably this is filmed on the same day. She's wearing the same abaya. So not only did she eat this day, um, well, she had that 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 post workout uh, dinner with a lot of rice. She is now having literally half a chicken, which in itself isn't that bad. Grilled chicken, like half chicken. I'm not gonna be too mad about it. The salad, okay, is not too bad. Depends on whether she's got dressing on it. The question is if she has oil on that as well as oil on the rice, as well as the chicken being marinated and the marinated and the fish being marinated. This cutting back on the oils is not going very well for her so far. So. This is a lot of food for one person in a day, regardless. I mean, she probably is in a deficit. She probably will lose weight eating like this, um, but it's still way too much food. If she if she's serious about her health, she should start portioning up her meals. And I'm not saying like weigh everything out, but at least make it a, a, a one person size meal as opposed to a two or three person size meal. That would be a good start. Anyway, let's see what she has to say. Hello guys, Bismillah. I am having a healthy meal today. I'm kind of sweaty because honestly, I've been working hard to clean my home and I'm in the kitchen just like making, chopping vegetables feels like forever. <laughs> and um, imagine that that is like a workout for her, chopping vegetables, lunacy. I made a salad. I know it doesn't look like much, but there's a lot in here. It's a green salad. Uh, it's just chopped romaine spring onion, mint, parsley, coriander or cilantro, um, dill, fresh dill, jir jir, um, what's it called, arugula, something else green, I don't even know the name. These are grilled tomatoes because we ordered chicken. Um, what else? What did I put in here? Anyways, a bunch of green things. And the dressing is just olive oil, uh, lemon juice, salt, pepper, a little bit of salt. Okay, so she's eating too much fats already. She's trying to cut back on her fats and she's already overeating on her fats. So good start. Salt, pepper, and some um, honey, like natural honey for sweetening. So, and then I have uh, half of a grilled chicken. Julia's eating her, her food, but I'm sure she'll I want some chicken. <laughs> she likes everything. Like everything I'm eating. I don't give her everything I'm eating, but um, just the other day I was eating a cheese slice. Okay. Like this. And I had it like this. I felt a tug and she took half the cheese slice and ran with it. And then this morning I had, I woke up. I like to have hydrating fruit when I wake up. I've always been like this. When I start a health journey, I find it cleansing. Like there's something astringent and hydrating at the same time about fruit. And fruit is actually a food that our body digests the best. It doesn't take long to digest it. Yeah, it's because it's just fiber. And that's why a lot, of, a lot of people, when they become like vegetarian, uh, or vegan I should say, especially fruitarian, they shit their fucking pants. Like it's because it's all fiber. So if you drink, eat a lot of um, hydrating fruit, you're going to look at me. It's not, you're not hydrating yourself. You're basically, I mean like there is, some fruits do have water in them, but it's also sugar. So it kind of depends really. 
If you want to hydrate yourself first thing in the morning, let you drink lemon water. Water with some lemon juice, a little bit of salt to for the electrolytes, and like I like to put apple cider vinegar through there as well, just to neutralize the the, um, the, the pH balance and stuff like that, and aid digestion. That's that's what you should have when you wake up in the morning, not to hydrate yourself, not to eat lots of fruit. Me in health mode now. You're going to be going to the washroom a lot, but number one, but you're cleaning your system out, and that's that. I love that feeling. She loves the feeling of having diarrhea. Okay, that's not healthy though. You're not you're not absorbing any vitamins and minerals that way if you're giving yourself diarrhea. Honestly. But accompanied by that is hunger, of course. Um, but fruit is has a lot of fiber also. Like I had a big bowl of cantaloupe and mango. I, I cut up a mango and half of a cantaloupe for breakfast. And um, also because I'm not very hungry in the morning. I don't know how people wake up and eat a huge meal because I would be sluggish all day. Like, I don't know. Well, first off, she doesn't wake up in the morning, let's be real. She doesn't wake up until some point in the afternoon. But besides that point, first meal of the day, I'm not somebody that is hungry, usually speaking, when I wake up sometimes, but uh, yeah, I, it, it depends. I would need a break, and plus I don't have a gallbladder, so when I eat things that are high in fat, I get I get really, um, here baby girl, I'm going to take the skin off for her. I get very sluggish, and I have trouble with the washroom. <laughs> here you go, baby girl. And then, then she sits there with the marinated grilled chicken, with a salad that has lots of olive oil on it. Logic, Santal, logic. So, um... Do you like the chicken? Do you like the chicken? <laughs> she took it. Um, I know people think she's like feral and we got her from the street. We didn't get her from the street. But even if we did get her from the street, why is a street cat any less valuable than another cat? You know? We just happened to know somebody who was like, I need to get rid of this cat. And I was like, oh yes, finally, it's a sign. We can get a cat. Hi, baby! Okay, one more piece. And then that's it for you. No more chicken for you after this. Parsley, I'll take it off. Um... No more. Good girl. So, that's what I had. And she loves cantaloupe. All that to say, she doesn't like mango, but she loves cantaloupe. So, I let her have a small piece. Um, okay, let me eat my supper. I'll, uh, let me get to it. Okay, get down. Uh, you can't have the whole chicken. Okay, go. So, she's feeding the cat on the table, and then she gets upset that the cat jumps on the table to eat. Like, I don't... My cat jumps on my desk. If I see it, I don't let her. She doesn't jump on my counters. I don't let her walk on tables. It's gross. I can tell if she's been there, because she, she leaves her dirty paw prints everywhere. Cats are cats are pretty dirty, you know what I mean? Like, in terms of, like, the, the, the fact that they clean their litter, or they clean their poop with their... After they've been to the toilet, they use their paws, right? So you don't want your cat walking around your surfaces. It's not nice. It's not It's not hygienic at all. Not that she is hygienic, but... Okay, so and these are grilled tomatoes because Sala um, was craving barbecue, mixed barbecue, which is very popular here. It's called Mishawi. And um, he likes to order a platter of barbecue. And so I just had the chicken that comes with it and the grilled tomatoes. He doesn't like those. And then he's sprinkling like, so cute. He tries to make the presentation good. And he's like, you know, all right, healthy girl, puts the, the parsley on my chicken, like, for presentation purposes. Oh, I love him. Baby girl. You cannot have too much chicken. Okay, so bismillah. Um, mm. As you saw in my vlog, I gained some weight. She fluctuated. So, I put on a lot of weight very quickly. I was eating way too much out of hand. Can you imagine? She has the audacity to sit here and have literally almost two months straight of doing nothing but eating mukbangs and saying like, oh, I put on a lot of weight quickly. Two kilos is nothing. That's literally like you haven't had a shit for a day or two. Like, the <laughs> who, who does she think she's fooling here? That she's only gained two kilos? Come on now. Like, we're not as stupid as what you think you are, as what you think we are. And, um, okay, maybe I gave her one small little piece. I was giving her small pieces. Um, I put on some weight. You know, I'd eat things at night. Um, Packets of pita chips, cheese slices. It's it's not the fact that you're eating mukbangs for four people. You're eating like a kilo of rice in a sitting. I'm sure that doesn't help the cheese slices and the pitas. But let's be real, the, the humongous quantities of food that she goes through doesn't help either. Um, you know, uh, a lot of three-in-one Nescafe, which is high in calories, sodas. Mm. This dressing and the herbs. So at first, it's so tiring, like, especially with the extra weight. Um, sometimes I can't control my urges to eat, overeat. 
she's literally overeating now. What she's shown so far on her, the start of her health journey is nothing but overeating. She's yet to eat a normal human-sized portion. Mm -mm. Good girl. I eat like maybe a quarter of a kilo of nuts and seeds at night. Um, <laughs> 250 grams. Holy shit. A portion of nuts is between 30 to 50 grams. So she is eating <laughs> five to seven times a portion of nuts and seeds every night. The calories. So she's eating like a thousand calories in nuts and seeds, if not more than that. Burger King, you know, everything. And I woke up today feeling motivated by the idea that I really came to the conclusion that this crap food is not worth shortening my life for. <laughs> uh, let's see how long that will last. You know, Julia. <sighs> this is kind of annoying to have this fucking cat in the way the whole time. Like, just from the perspective of a viewer, it's not cute. Here. Yeah, feed it more. Oh she is feral. <laughs> I don't know, maybe she was a street cat before. But not when we got her. Like maybe the people who had her before when she was from the street, I'm not sure. <laughs> Are you feral? Don't wag your tail at me. You're, you're, you're obsessed. This cat eats all the time. She always has food. Anyways, I love the grilled tomatoes. Mm-mm. -mm. I said no more. No more. Go. I'm not good at punishing. It's almost like if you feed an animal at the table all the time that they're going to be doing that. I mean, does she have Prater Willie syndrome? She can't stop eating? Or is it because she's a kitten? Hey. Here. No more, for real. Is it because she's a kitten? She needs to eat more? Like, I looked up that kittens need to eat more in general. Mm -mm. Vamos. Vamos. <laughs> Sweet girl. It's not it's not cute or funny. It's kind of distracting and annoying to be honest. Mm, this chicken is so good. Stop it. Go. And I want to go on this trip. Like I want to get new clothes. So I'm trying to delay that instant gratification feeling for like rewards down the line where I can be like happier, healthier. My brain goes between like wanting to be active and healthy and new lease on life and then it tricks me into thinking, you don't want that. It's too much work. You well, that's it. She's just very, very lazy. And Chantal doesn't want to do anything that causes any form of discomfort, that's any form of work, anything that is making her break out of a comfort zone. Uh, and this is why she is unlikely that she will ever succeed because she just wants she just wants the results now. She doesn't want to work for it, and unfortunately, you have to work for a lot of things in life that are difficult to attain. This is why I don't know. Most people don't look a certain way. This is why most people don't have certain types of jobs because it requires work, studies, dedication, sacrifices, and she's not willing to sacrifice anything. Um, she wants what she wants now. You want to just be cozy, you know, the comfort of not changing. You want to lay in bed with that half kilo of nuts, watching horror movies, smoking shisha. No, that's I can't relate to that, but I'm sure for you, yes. Ordering out. It's not sustainable. So why am I delaying the inevitable? I have to change. And even just in half a day of eating healthy and natural food, I have so much more energy. Even just half a day. Can you imagine in a week from now? I mean, this is a better food choice than what she would normally have. Obviously, I'm always going to prefer this over uh, KFC or something like that. It is better. It all just depends on how much oil she puts in there though. Like it's, but it's better. It's at least it's whole foods. It's a start. Oh, who has woken up? Who has woken up? Good morning. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. 
in a month from now in a year from now so the time passes anyway right okay good girl did you have enough chicken i think you good did morning, Rose. so i'm purposely going to cut out anything like cat related any cat talk because i just i just don't want to give it attention at all so my henna is fading a bit getting purpley but the black henna actually fades way less than the other kind so yeah because apparently it's my poison is right <laughs> I've heard people criticize it and say it's not very skilled. Actually, it's one of the best people um, in Kuwait, so. I mean, I'm not going to comment on it. Like, I don't know enough about how to comment. It, I think the design looks quite pretty. But it's, it's quite thick. I've seen henna before. Normally, it's quite thin. Um, that's the only thing like it's, it's very thick the, all the lines are thick but whether it's done well or not whether it's pretty or like I don't know it's opinion I guess each to their own I guess anyway I'm gonna eat one of these every day I'm gonna be making more food she's funny that how she's saying about eat, making more food yet twice she's had takeout in the same day she had grilled fish and now she's having grilled chicken recipes in the kitchen you guys will love it making food like cutting up a fruit That's something i guess at least she's eating fruit instead of pita chips i suppose so i found a really good recipe for like air fryer bean fritters okay i know what you would love to do to this whole chicken carcass huh i know what you would like to do i know look at you <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll take out some of the meat and keep it in the fridge, add it to her wet food. I love this lemon juice and honey, um, just a bit of honey, not much. So we're l probably looking at like a couple of tablespoons, yeah? I have some green tea. The thing is, like whole foods is healthy, but you can still overeat on whole foods. The key is, is that you My farm, focusing on... You know, you, you have to still measure it out. You can still, oh, honey is healthy, yes, but you can still get fat from eating too much honey. Olive oil is healthy, yes, but you can still overeat an olive oil. Like, whole foods are healthy, but if you're not measuring out your portions, yes, you're not going to lose any fat, fat, you know? You still need to be mindful of these things, especially things like honeys and oils that are very calorically dense. Wouldn't you be amazed how much time you spend in your day thinking about food, eating, digesting, preparing food? So when you don't do that as much, like a lot of my day and night was spent eat eating, right? Continually. You have so much time to focus on other things. You're like, what do I do? So I like to focus a lot on self-care, skincare, stuff like that. You know, self-grooming very well. We give yourself a pedicure or... She should maybe like get another hobby. I mean like, good, but how long can you sit there and paint your nails? It's only so many hours in the day, right? What are you doing? No, come here. No, not my boy Suki. No, what is this? What are you doing with my Suki? My Suki is not for you to play with. Naughty girl. <laughs> We're gonna go in a second, girls. What? You know? Mm. Julia, you probably don't want green. Is carnivore, lady? Vegetables you have to chew very well because the cellulose and vegetables, we don't digest that. Uh, listen to our squinny, skinny queen over here. You have to digest, you have to chew everything properly. Because <laughs> uh, otherwise everything has to, so my voice is starting to go from doing like an hour of this now. But yeah, you have to chew everything properly, Chantal. I know you like to swallow things whole, <laughs> but you should chew everything properly. So if you want to obtain any nutrients, you have to chew very well. Again, Salah's in... The bedroom meeting. That's why you heard a door open and close. In my last mukbang because he is eating in the room with Howie, like I said, with the door closed because we keep Howie separated from her. Another thing is, why don't you guys eat together? I see this comment a lot. Um, because in this instance, I'm doing a mukbang. Like we do eat together when I'm not filming. But this is not the couple's channel, so mostly he's not in the mukbangs. He doesn't love eating on camera. 
So I do my mukbang. I mean, like, I get that. I understand that they don't eat together when she's doing a mukbang. Because it is like, a, it's kind of a weird thing to sit there and eat and talk doing mukbangs. Um, so I get that. You know, it's like part of her channel is doing, well, it has become again doing mukbangs. So yeah, I understand that. And he goes and eats in the other room because, I mean, you would hear his crunching in the background. That why, why would he be here? And he can go watch something while he's eating. He likes to watch something while eating. So I never used to like green onions, but I like them in the salad. Um, so that's why, you know. An hour of Chantal is a lot, guys. I'm feeling it. <laughs> That's about it. So here's the beginning. Let's see how long it will last. I give it three days, max. She's probably gave Hopefully. it already, to be fair. This can last. Forever. Because... No I want to live a minutes. long life with my husband. Daisy? Hey! And I want to travel. And do things with him. Hey, put that tail down. Put your tail down. Hey! Hey! And I cannot do that. Trouble. Going down the road, I am. Good girl. Up, up, up. Good girl. Up, 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 Daisy. Prayer is helping too. Religion, you know, gives me a purpose as well. I understand why I'm here now. I don't feel lost. And that has, has really helped with mental health a lot. Sometimes I forget that though. And then I let depression seep in and, and doubt seep in a little bit. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm a new Muslim. Someone was asking for a video. What are we doing here? Someone was asking for a video on why I converted to Islam and all, you know, all of those subjects re regarding my conversion, my reversion. And I will definitely do that as well. All right, guys. So thanks for having a healthy dinner with me. Um, tough. I know it's going to get tough tonight. So I'm going to try to buckle in and just go to sleep <laughs> and get to that point. Anyway, I will document my struggles and my triumphs for you. Um, inshallah. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. All right, so... Whew. I'm gonna go because my dogs are very restless, which means that they need to go out for a walk. Um, so I told her to summarize, we'll see how long this will last. Hopefully she can still overeat on it. She's still eating way too much oils. Uh, she needs to eat normal portions. These are not normal portions. She needs to half her portions, at least, to try and have, at least start somewhere. Um, it's an improvement, it's whole foods, give her that. The gym effort is bare minimum. I don't see, like, I, I, to be honest, I almost don't see a point of it. The amount of exercise she's doing, the walking that she's doing. I guess you've got to start somewhere when you're basically immobile, which I guess is where she is. Um, you've got to start somewhere, but 1.6 kilometers an hour, that's like, it's a crawl. But I guess she probably can't walk faster than that. So she maybe needs to lose more weight until she can go faster. The two kilo weight gain is a joke. It's more than that. I don't believe that she is 166 kilos. And that, guys, is my summary of this. So insert a, a scale, a salad, and a chicken emoji. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.